in this short video, I'm going to show you how to collaborate with amazing speed in your huddle room, small meeting room or control room. What I've got here is I've got uh, my inputs from these laptops in front of me. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start uh, plugging them into the rear of ChorioView. Now, you'll notice as I start to connect into the rear, a couple of things will happen. First of all, it's going to go from connect your sources to show my first PC. Uh, below on the unit, you'll see it says we've got one source connected and it's connected in source C. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, input uh, another source now. This time I'm going to put it on uh, the last source I've got available. And you'll notice right away what happens behind me. It fires the correct preset for two inputs. It tells me I've got two inputs. They pl these are the inputs they're plugged into. Uh, and at the bottom it says the number of inputs that are plugged in. That's what the number two means. Now if you look behind me, you see it's labeled C and F, and that equates directly to the front panel. As I add more sources, so now uh, adding a third one, it fires the correct preset. I'm not pushing any buttons, not doing anything at all uh, as I do this. Now, I could have up to eight inputs into a unit uh, working this way. Now, um, you can see here also behind me, it's corrected all the scaling for me. So um, these are fairly old laptops that uh, are not running at particularly high resolution, so it's sorted out all the scaling for me. Um, and I'm outputting to this 4K screen, um, and it's giving me good definition. And as I enlarge that in a moment, you'll see I keep that. The other thing I could do uh, is I could uh, input up to 4K. So if I had a a really modern laptop, I could use the second screen. I wouldn't be limited to the screen resolution. I could, I could take it out the second output and get really high resolutions up here through my Corea view. Now, the next thing I want to do is start collaborating. So you've seen I've got my labels C, D, E, and F. These equate to the, the front panel here. So if I want to uh, now bring source E up, I push button E. That's now come full screen. The audio has come off mute, uh, but all the other inputs are still available in the tray at the bottom. If I want to uh, bring another source to the fore, I just push the button and it swaps over. If I want to bring something full screen and get rid of the tray, I just push that button again. So it's really quick and easy uh, to collaborate in this mode. Now, if I want to go back to my quad view, that is really simple. All I do is push the preset button down on this side. And now that's brought me back into my quad view. So that is the basis of Corey View in dynamic mode. It enables me to automatically file the correct preset for the number of sources, and it enables me to bring an image full screen really quickly. Stick with the other videos uh, in this little series. Um, I'll be showing some more front panel control. So I'll be showing you how to uh, mute uh, your audio and cut your video to black if you need to really quickly. Maybe you've got confidential material you need to cut. I'll show you how to do that. I'll also how to show you how to create uh, your own presets as well. So stick with the series. Uh, it's been great having you in the TV1 Training Academy studio. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.